Hello, guys. Quickly, let us look at the outline, which is a course outline for your M dread level physics. Now, meet me for the first time. I'm by name Sir Emmy. I'm going to show you how the course outline for the 100 level physics is arranged and how you are going to follow the outline one after the other. Now, first and foremost, how is the course arranged? I'll start by telling you that the course title is what makes thermal physics and what and waves. Now, this is the 100 level um, physics. This is the, the, should I say the outline? It is called Magnus. Tamal, physics, and what in and with. Now, from this outline, you can see three things. The first you can see there is what we have magnets. So, we are supposed to, we are going to treat magnets. What is magnets? Magnets is simply the branch of physics that talks about motion and the cause of motion. Now, when we talk about motion, what do we mean? We're talking about kinematics. When we talk about the cause of motion, what do we mean? Force. So, the branch of physics that talks about force is called what? Dynamics. So, this mechanism has a total of about 12 topics. We're going to talk about dynamics, we'll talk about kinematics, we'll talk about the relationship between both of them, we'll talk about elasticity, we're going to talk about a lot of momentum under this mechanism. Are you, do you understand that? Now, after talking about mechanism, we'll now go further talk about what? Thermal physics. What's thermal physics? The branch of physics that talks about what? Heat. Temperature. So, this one has a total of what? Nine topics. So, we're going to take them one after the other, the are calculations and the, the, the past questions in between that are locked in between. So, we're going to talk about, we'll talk about magnets, we're going to take uh, uh, thermal physics. After that, we'll talk about all the waves. Waves just has 10 topics because um, waves are supposed to be continued forward for second semester. So, we'll talk about what is wave, uh, introduction to wave, that's the classification of wave. Talk about sound wave, light waves, light a, a bit of light wave or major light wave will be forward for second semester. And these are the three parts. We have magnets, which has uh, 12 topics. We have your thermal physics, which have a total of 9 to 10 topics. We have your waves, which have a total of, of 10 topics. Now, these uh, topics are going to be taught and arranged. And there is one last part, which is very, very important, will not be taught in class. It is called the word, the practical word, physics. Now, the practical physics has to do with practicals. But inside this practical physics, there are exam questions in it, which are going to see inside the exam all. So, making me breaking the total work into four segments. Magnets, thermal physics, waves, and what your practical physics. Your practical physics have, I think, about eight topics. We're going to treat them one after the other, and we'll take their past questions. By the time we are done, we're going to do in magnets, by the time we are done with every, all the topics in methods, we'll take their past question. When we're done with thermal physics, we'll take their past question. When we're done with waves, we'll take their past question. When we're done with physics, practical, we'll take their past question. Then we'll now go to year by year past questions. We'll take the past questions one after the other. Listen to me. You don't have any reason to fail. You can sit in your house, watch your classes, follow your classes, finish the syllabus. Whether the lecturer comes or not, it is none of your work, of your business. Are you with me? Now, so we're going to talk about the practicals. We're going to talk about what everything. Now, let me give you an imagination. Let's say, for example, let's say this is a ball. And let's say that this ball starts to move. And what happened? It's now stopped by an object. Mm. What do you think about that? A ball moving from rest and stopped by an object? Oh. I think that was related to what Isaac Newton said. Newton first law. That the body will remain at the state of rest or uniform motion except a force is acted on it. We're going to talk about lots more on all this, just saying a lot to discuss. Now, take note that all the teachings are all in the words in the Learn Lift app. Just download the Learn Lift app. All the Learn Lift app is the learning app. With the Learn Lift app, you can follow one, your video lessons, number two, your PDF notes. So when you finish one topic, that's the video lessons. You will read, you can decide to say, okay, I want to watch the video lessons or I want to read the notes. So every topic has video lessons. Every topic has notes. And every uh, topic now also call your word, your CBT word, past question. That means within the topic, a past question, past question, past question. So each topic has its own past question. Those past questions are a CBT format. You can choose your answers. And no. Now listen to me. Don't proceed to the next topic if after watching the class and you did the CBT pass question and you got less than 80 percent it means that you didn't actually understand it practice it is what makes world perfect you understand so 
Downloading LearnLift app is just a learning app and there are amazing features for you to enjoy. LearnLift, lifting learners. I still make my own self, I am in. Take note that other classes are also available. Chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, even for medical students, non-medical students, even 200 level classes. Download the LearnLift app, go to your Play Store, type LearnLift, and go to your iOS that's for app for app for iOS users, Apple Store, type your LearnLift. And the app is going to download and start learning. I still remember always self I mean, I'll see you in class.